In this video, we will solve systems of equations using a process known as addition. We found substitution can effectively solve many systems. However, if there is no lone variable, it may be better to use the second method called addition. This method works by adding the left and right sides of the equations together. As we do so, we try and eliminate one of the variables. For example, in this problem, we're going to add together the left side and add together the right side of this equation. As we do, notice negative x plus 2x is negative 6x. More interesting is notice that when we add the negative 3y plus 3y together, they subtract out completely. There are no y's left in this equation. As we add the right side, negative 12 and negative 6, we get negative 18. And we now have an equation that we can quickly solve for x by simply dividing by negative 6. We find x is equal to 3. We still must find y, and the way we will do that is go back to either original equation and replace the x with a 3. The second equation has smaller numbers, so it may be the easier one to use. When I replace that x with 3, we get 2x, or 2 times 3, plus 3y equals negative 6. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 3y equals negative 6. Subtracting 6 from both sides, 3y equals negative 12, and dividing by 3, tells us that y is equal to negative 4. As an ordered pair, x comma y, 3 comma negative 4 is the solution to this equation, which we found using the addition method by adding the left and right sides together. Let's take a look at another example where addition eliminates one of the variables. Again, in this problem, we'll see that when we add together the left and right sides, the negative 5x plus 5x is 0. 9y minus 6y is 3y, and on the other side, 29 minus 11 is 18. The x's have eliminated, and we can quickly solve for y by dividing by 3. y is equal to 6. We still must find the x that makes this system true as well. And again, we find that by taking our y value and plugging it into the original equation. It does not matter which equation, so I will plug it into the second because it has smaller numbers and may be easier to work with. We can replace the y with 6, and we find the equation is now 5x minus 6y, which we just found out was 6, equals negative 11. Multiplying 5x minus 36 equals negative 11. Adding 36 to both sides gives us 5x equals 25. Finally, dividing both sides by 5, we get our final answer for x, which is 5. Expressing our final answer as an ordered pair, x comma y, 5 comma 6. The addition method is nice when we can add the two equations together on left and right side and eliminate one of the variables as we add them together.